Hello and welcome to a Banished, the first episode. That was the uh, better FPS mod. I've gone for the vanilla algorithm. If you watched um, any of the previous episodes in the first look section, you may find that it was not quite the same graphics. I've actually done, I've got better graphics now. I've decided to use that vanilla algorithm and it's really kind of, there's actually an aura node right here which I didn't even spot before. Okay, um, so obviously Thorncraft's in the pack. Um, and there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Obviously, as you can see by the overlay, we've got Oz Magicka 2. It is 1710. Thematically, what I'm going to do, um, everything is based around this player focus thing, right? But thematically, what I'm going to do is, depending on the biome I'm in, as you can see, there's various things like um, uh, some of this world gen, as you can see. Uh, from Wild Caves 3. The whole world is caves, basically, in this pack. Um, what that means is I'm going to be doing something from a decorative perspective. There's Chisel, right? Chisel 2, actually. Um, which is actually, uh, I think it's it's got some unique blocks that you don't really... These blocks, I remember the hex platings. These are really cool blocks, I always like them. Uh, I don't think they're around anymore, but, and there's actually some nice uh, uh, leaf blocks as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but what I thought I could do is you have loads of different areas, and then I was actually even looking at these Silent Gems teleporter things, and I was wondering, maybe I can do something with them. Like a barrel teleporter would, would need a barrel block, ender pearls, uh, and you can make the... I've got some uh, Chaos S ore here. Um, so I'm just wondering if I can duplicate that in any way. Hmm. Philosopher's Stone. Project E is in the pack as well. Um, that doesn't really help you with that. Uh, there's nothing really doing on that front. Um, so I could just smelt that up. Um, but yeah, there's lots of uh, Thorncraft. There's Lycanites mods. Uh, there's Bibliocraft. Um... Lots of lots of the uh, so here we have some stuff from Tainted Magic. I think this is an end game. Boots of the Void Walker. Uh, perhaps uh, an item to look out for there. Of course, Witching Gadgets, which from what I recall was very uh, very well received. This one, um, and there's also uh, and not not the other ones are not, but I, I just it just I just specifically remember Witching Gadgets. Uh, it's got a couple more uh, golem focuses um, and the gadamancy and yeah so there's like knights as well and of course I've got a few different uh, I've got grow conjure water rock blast what I've done is um, the reason I decided to start the series here I just wanted to get like some super basic um, kind of infrastructure up and running um, because I thought that'd be a good idea um, and you do get ender pearls and obsidian quite easily from some of the mob drops um, and yeah so and that, and that was really what I wanted to do just to uh, there is actually a, a bone uh, or gen thing as well and yeah I wanted to have the tree here there's also um, epic siege and the uh, so for instance I had some of these uh, zombies I didn't actually uh, record this but there were some zombies that were digging their way up here which I was not happy about but yeah probably gonna yeah there's actually a diamond ore right there which I didn't even spot before this area I haven't really lit up so there's not much point in me going down here at the moment. But yeah, the only slight problem is everywhere else around this area, I've got the uh, spawn point here, which is probably going to be okay. I've got some clay here. Um, now in recent packs, and I just uh, blocked off this area because there's a huge lava pit there, and we don't want to get any uh, cinders or um, you know those sort of mobs out there. So we've got some beryl here as well, actually, which you do need iron for. So that's cool. Um, and yeah, there's various stats, aren't there? Um, so out of these, I could make 
So you can make the efficiency. I haven't used this mod very much, to be honest. I believe what I would want to do, though, is get supercharged barrel and then make a couple of these ornate sticks. And then I could make uh, one of these tools. Um, the pit, let's look at the... Uh, so the barrel sword has 10 attack damage. Iron is 8. Is a, Iron is 6 and the diamond is 8. 7. Okay, so diamond is actually uh, disabled there. Okay, um, interesting. Uh, so, oh yeah, you, no right-click functionality on this. Let's put down. Actually, I've got for some reason I got an additional crafting table. So we've got that there. Um, okay, let's uh, grab another tree then. But yeah, I just I really want to um, get into um, all the thorn craft stuff because I did actually make a really cool video um, getting all the talking about all the aspects of thorn craft. By the way, even though yeah, mobs could potentially come out from anywhere. The wor the worst mob really, uh, from my perspective, is to deal with an ender creeper. Uh, I have been collecting some leather because if we look at the um, you may have noticed this thing that I was actually. Uh, Pointing towards. Um, okay. Yeah, I haven't done much organization. Uh, I should probably start making some more chests. Um, but yeah, this is going to be quite a uh, interesting one. Let's. Uh, I've got some earth infused stone there. But yeah, the the quest book is pretty cool though. Um, it's un one of the unusual things about this mod pack. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have a, one, sort of certain blocks, and then we're gonna have ores in a different chest maybe. So maybe take the ores out, put ores, and maybe these gems. They're sort of gems as well. Um, but yeah, we'll put just normal blocks in here. Um, we might put some of those nice drops somewhere else. I'll just do a diagonal pattern, it'll just be a little uh, a little simpler. That's an... But yeah, it's, but, like, but thematically what I would like to do, so for instance I'm in an ocean biome here, so if I could find a way to get some interesting blue blocks, and I'm just wondering how I might go around doing that. Yeah, Britannia uh, is also in here, so that may be one way to do it. Um, I mean, but you see there's also other options like this. So if I went for a factory block, I could make that out of stone and iron, um, and then just turn it into a blue block. So I don't necessarily need to have all that the lapis. Um, world gen is pretty cool though. Um, now what happened to my? Oh, did I have it? I hope I got a sapling left. Yeah, so I, I must. I forgot to take the saplings. Has actually been really uh, low, which is not good. Yeah, my food situation is not great either. So I might want to. Might want to expand this farm a bit. Um, so we'll go for like in here. I'll have um, you know like ender pearls and stuff like that, and mob drops and stuff. That'd be nice, nice stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll put the ores and the actual uh, smelt ingots in here. I've got some more bones here, so... I've actually got quite a lot of bones. And I probably need to... Well, this probably gets me there, isn't it? I probably need to... Hmm. Yeah, I do have some more food though. So I'm, I could do a little uh, uh, exploratory thing. But yeah, what I was saying about this, let's look at the uh, quest book and we'll just talk a little more about that. Um, 
But yeah, I do want to. I do want to actually try to get a few more saplings though, because I actually forgot to get it on that last one there. Yeah, what I might do actually is just uh, try to get some more saplings quickly. I was lucky, but the sapling rate is really low. Except I only got one from that whole tree. Which sucks, to be honest. But yeah, I'm not going to do this whole episode. There you go. That actually should give me a few more, though. I'm just going to do one more tree here and just hope that I get a slightly better sapling room. This this should get me more though, because this is the first time I've actually got a decent sized tree. Yeah, okay, we're, we're doing better now. Okay, but by, but incidentally, if I if I hadn't been able to get this, right, if I hadn't been able to get this, this good tree here that I've got, um, I need to now explain how you actually uh, play the opening of the mod pack because one of the reasons why I didn't actually uh, play the opening um, yeah, this has got a lot okay. um, the, whole, the whole system works on the reputation system which from what I can recall, okay well three, that's not too bad but as you can see I mean it's still pretty low for a tree like that um, oh, I got four actually. All right. So, so we should be able to have this. But yeah, it's all about. And I wanted another chest just for the um, uh, all the like night stuff. Um. Yeah, I'll just put it here for now. I could have food in here because a lot of the Lycanite's drops actually are food. Um, put some of these maybe in here. Yeah, I mean... Now this, I'm not sure I should have that. I'm not quite sure where that came from. I may not have activated yet. I do have a node. Uh, um, let's look at the quest book then. Um, what do I have? I've got some coal. I don't have a sword. So what about a barrel sword? Just, just, just for now. Uh, a regular one would actually be alright. I just need two barrel gems. Um, which I actually have, don't I? Yeah. So let's just make a sword, and then I'm going to travel, and then do sort of multitask a bit. Cool. So yeah, this guy, the Soulbound Focus, I'm actually going to leave it here, um, because it's probably not a good idea to travel with it. Um, but yeah, the way it works, basically... As you can see, I've done a, a certain amount, not much. Um, each, uh, I've, I'm, I basically, this is the system for Aura Cascade. There's the beginning of that. Uh, for the fourth chapter, that is not unlocked yet. I think I actually shouldn't. I think I may have accidentally got that um, uh, Philosopher's Stone. It doesn't matter. I can always get rid of it. Uh, Lexica Batan, uh, Batania. I'm not going to focus too much on Batania. I don't think. Uh, Ars Magica. And Thorncraft, of course. So I only need five gold ingots for Thorncraft. So I could start it now. Um, but the way this works in the early chapters is you basically use the player focus. Um, and then you get this, and you have to have dark power. So for instance, right. Um, 
So for instance, what would happen is I would give in that player focus I had, and then it would demand uh, to have 10 levels, for instance, or whatever. And then what I would need to do is on this side, I would need to get the dark power by killing the enemies, right? Um, so I'm just wondering if I could bring a bit more food with me, because I may run out. And I should have a couple more things with me. Uh, not much. Um, so I do have the Oz Magicka book at least. So if I wanted to, um, uh, well, you don't do that. So yeah, it doesn't it doesn't go very long, but I think it's because I'm still pretty early level on this. Um, but yeah, let's put some additional blocks away. I might actually take some cobblestone with me. Uh, get a few more. Okay, that will do for now. Uh, let me just check. No, I, I think I've known that recipe to work before, but it doesn't work too often. Okay, so let's have a little uh, explore. Now I've got a little bit of food to take with me. Have a few more torches, maybe. Okay, and with the iron, there's no real... No, you see, there's not many ways to all double. Uh, the reason for that, of course, is because in Thorncraft, early game is all doubling, isn't it? Um, so maybe I'll... Yeah, so I guess that's kind of indicating to me that I probably want to... Um... Oh, it's actually telling me some stuff, isn't it? Oh, that's right. Yeah, the mana cost is going to go down. So I do have this... I do actually have an offensive one. So I might try using that. We'll see. Uh, I'm taking a little bit more with me than I intended, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and I just wanted to sort of... Uh... Yeah, so this guy's a phantom. So what the way it works basically, if you look at my um you can see I'm currently at twelve on the reputation, right? So each time uh you kill basically almost any mob, you get uh a little bit more. So now I'm at fourteen. And what that will mean is that I'll be able to access certain certain uh, more difficult you know like something like uh, snow or something. Oh no, well that only takes five. But yeah, certain things require reputation and... Um, they basically require both. Yeah. These guys always... Do. That did more damage to me than I was anticipating. I've not actually tried using this too much. There is natural absorption. Basically, like I said, it's like Epic Siege mod and... Um, I've got bone piles here. Okay, I'll come back next time. <laughs>